Well, this is gonna be a video about guitar playing and about shit that could save your fucking life. This video could be banned, it could be blocked. You know, I've never posted anything like this before. I don't know what I want to say or what not. I've already posted some videos, some of that shit you've seen. It's not a joke. It's just no game. I don't have any friends. I say to myself, of course, you know, there's a reason for that. Not because I'm a psych basket or something, which you could think that if you want to. Still, this is some mind why you think of me. You don't know me personally. But uh, I say to myself, for the simple fact that I just want to put anybody else in danger. So I'd rather stay to myself than, than put somebody else in danger. The only couple people I have talked to over the past few years, I thought maybe they could handle themselves. And they were only in my life for a minute. And uh, it's a while back. And actually, not even then. I mean, when I say for a minute, I mean virtually like I might see him one day or something, and that was it. One person I've seen for a little bit. But, um, anyway. I see no one, I have no friends, I stay to myself. I avoid personal relationships because like I said, I don't want to endanger somebody else. No, you think COVID's a problem, it is. Think about something that could raise your blood pressure even if you're in good health and skinny and still give you an aneurysm or a heart attack or something. Is there shit out there that can do it? Um, there didn't used to be. I never heard nothing like that in the 70s, the 80s. Maybe the late 90s, but uh, there is now. So, you need to listen up. Anyway, I'm going to try to be a little jovial. <laughs> and try to play a little guitar. This is cool. Zach Wild Audio. Went into something with Skinker, I think. Hey, uh, I don't know. Anyway, it's a cool fucking guitar, man. Um, Warhammer, Deathclaw. Uh, brown. And molasses is kind of all right. The, you know, War, uh, Warhammer, Deathclaw is cool enough by itself. <laughs> Yeah, I haven't played since pretty much the last time I made a guitar video because I've been doing shit I shouldn't have to do. Cleaning things I shouldn't have to clean. Believe me, I don't like cleaning nothing. Unless I really have to. Uh, what was I going to say? Oh, one, one little note on my uh, browser. I'm going to make another browser video later, maybe. And talk about backwards compatibility. Because that one thing I, t I showed you up there where it opens the control panel, you get all those options. Well, years ago when I initially made it, uh, it opened in a different method. No, I'm not going to go into that. I don't even remember how most of that shit I did. It's, there's reasons for that. And I'm not going to relate that in this video. But I had memory loss for reasons. Certain parts of my life just aren't there anymore. But uh, I would leave a call. Let's just call it a link so you'll understand what I'm saying better. Most people. I would make a link to something in a Windows operating system like to open the control panel. And it would open the control panel. Well, as those Windows systems progressed and they changed their files over, well, they made it different, so things didn't operate the same. It stayed good for a while, even when they changed the files over in XP and stuff. But, listen to that, a heater. I didn't use the heater here for the first, what, four or five years I lived here. Reasons for that, too. I won't relate that in this video, but I think you might understand after I talk a little bit. If you stay long enough, the one, two, or three people in the world that actually watch this, if it doesn't get banned, shut down uh, and if you just tell one person one person tells one person and gets it out that'll be three people five people 25 people it needs to be out there man because there's a lot more shit going on than anybody's aware you think America's being destroyed all the things you can see in the media all that fighting back and forth between the political parties and all that shit there's shit going on that you don't even know about that can kill you trust me <laughs> oh yeah oh yeah the reason I'm saying this now is because I made those few videos and I don't know how much longer I'm going to be around. If I die, it's not going to be anytime soon, I mean. 
not from fucking natural causes. No, it will not be. So anyway, let us continue. This moment's a good moment. <laughs> Not very loud. I'm not even the one. Almost the one. Not quite. Not even up to one. Oh, what was I gonna say? The backwards compatibility. Oh, I never finished that. See how I ramble. Uh, when I left the original, I left the original call in there. Link the original link in there for it to open like. It would in older systems of Windows, and in a newer system of Windows, I use that new method, uh, which you can also make a folder and put it on your desktop and still have all those same uh, options to open up your uh, your uh, control panel with. So, what I'm saying is I made it backwards compatible, so it'll work on older systems as well as newer systems. If somebody has an older system in another country, then I'm not gonna, it's only in English though, then it will still work, it'll still open the control panel. That's my point. I made a few things like that. Like I said, when I tried to recompile it in, in around 15, 2015, I didn't change anything, I just deleted a bunch of, well I did change a few things, I put a few links and I put the Ubuntu link in, which I don't use, I got a Ubuntu Studio that since my Windows update, uh, my bootloader isn't working correctly and I'm not going to fuck with it for a while, I'm going to let Windows 11 stabilize for a little bit more time before I do that and make a backup copy, which I have not done yet because I've been preoccupied with the, doing shit I shouldn't have to do here in America, but yet I have it. It just doesn't stop. I mean, it's not been going on my whole life, no. It's been going on for a while. Let's just uh, move on. Uh, you know, it's good to stretch your strings, too. Stretch your strings. Uh, oh, the, yeah, the, I was thinking of some of the effects, uh, the shit that I was cleaning up, like green stuff. See, that shit, and this is from personal experience. I, I don't know what it is or combinations of what it could be, but it could be in gel form. And I know if, if it's cold, it'll last longer. If it's hot, it'll naturally evaporate quicker. It could also be in a liquid. They can spray it on shit. Get it some kind of a, I bet a sponge thing and wipe it on stuff. It leaves a, a reddish brown tinge on lighter fabrics and darker fabrics. You're not going to notice it. But anyway, um, what is it? Who the fuck knows? I know it can, anything can be put in it. Anything. I talked to a dude. Well, never mind. It's just, uh, it's above my pay grade. I thought it had stopped here. Uh, I called the, I, I said, fuck it. I got so sick of it, man. I'm just one dude. So I called the FBI. Uh, a year before last, in the end of 2019. And uh, it stopped. I thought it had stopped. I had seen a few things move, and I thought, man, maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm just getting addled, you know, old. Things moved here and there. Nah. Just because those locks are dead bolts, don't mean shit. I mean, before they had a key, they could just walk right on in, you know. And then I changed that. But, you know, criminals, dead bolts only work for good people. They don't work for criminals, man. They could bump that shit right open or get a pass key in. You know, it's not going to stop criminals. It's just not. Well, anyway, uh, I'm getting more talking than I am done playing. So I haven't played, like I said, since the last time, because you can kind of tell that I've been preoccupied with other shit. I just wonder, I got this, this is on this uh, year old guitar string. I got it on with the uh, update, look at that. That fancy or what? It's a fancy motherfucker, ain't it? Uh, see there? Yeah, it's supposed to be around, uh, I think it's made out of bone or something. I think it was lamb's bone. I don't remember because I don't have that information anymore. But I do have the information, the, the topical information, which means that I just have a little bit of info on it. It's supposed to be around the second or third millennium uh, 80. So that means a uh, tray hand could have maybe possibly seen it or somebody in that era. Maybe even uh, Constantine. You know that, that Roman emperor dude that uh, brought uh, he brought Christianity to, the, to his people. Not the other dude, though. But anyway, I just wonder, you know, old stuff fascinates me. I like old stuff. It's cool. I like new stuff. Yeah, I like new stuff. Uh, I like to be alive. Um, I don't know. I don't even want to say anything. I recently thought about saying You just need to know, you need to be aware that, and now that I'm making this and then coming out, you know, saying, you just might as well fucking say it, yeah. Shit in your place to poison your ass. It could be on any motherfucking day. I've heard it say they like to put it in frozen vegetables. I've heard that a few times from different people over the years. Which, you know, that. Because it's cold. You know, obviously it doesn't evaporate quickly when it's cold. It could be on shit you touch. It 
was on the strap. It was on a lot of things. Artifacts that were on there. Yeah, a lot of them I didn't even clean. I just threw them with plastic bags, man. So fuck it, I mean. And I didn't even know it was on that big one until I had it over there and I was making that video. And then I seen it and I'm like, oh, fuck. I'm just going back to camp food. Living the life of an insane person. And I'm thinking, you know, what are you going to do? You got to make it a more direct approach. Let me just... You know, I moved in here a little bit before Harvey, that flood. And then we had the flood, and then I went to a church for a couple days. First, I went out there on the road. They had it blocked off because everything from my front door, if I'd have known this, I would just stay here but I went to a church for a couple days and it came the flood came right to my front door so everything between my front door and Buffalo Bayou got flooded our pool well the pool here not our pool it's not my pool it was completely covered in water you couldn't see the pool anymore people were coming by in boats out here and shit yeah because there's that much of a difference in height as you come into the place a little bit a few feet here a few feet there deep enough for boats couldn't get your vehicles out I drove my when I eventually came back a few days later uh, from there, a guy brought me back here. I went and helped him get some, do something with him. I forget, did something with his stuff, and and uh, I took my truck out. Or no, I took my truck out when I left. I drove across the back there. The gate, oh yeah, the gate was uh, knocked down, and I didn't know where to go. I don't know anybody in this town of Houston, so I drove across. I put my truck in four wheel drive and just drove right across the fucking back fence here because you couldn't get out the front. It was too deep of water. It would uh, stop your vehicle dead if you tried it. You maybe could have powered through and kept going, but most people wouldn't do that. They, they probably hesitate, or as soon as you slow down, you'd be dead. I know that because I was in a big storm once in Florida when I was a kid, and I came through it, and I stopped for a second for some reason. Yeah, I just flooded my truck. Boom, dead. It was a 1952 Chevrolet truck. I like that old truck. Drove it all the way across town once the brakes failed. I knew the brakes were failing, but when I took off, they hadn't failed yet. I was going to get my brakes fixed. And before I got there, they failed. Here I am going down the road, downshifting down to low, you know, that great gear and shit. I'm fucking blowing the horn, and I couldn't stop. <laughs> At least not a complete stop. I made it. Anyway, that was a long time ago. I get better at playing sometimes, even if I don't play for a while. I now suffer from my hands being get tired because I'm not used to playing, and I get better not because it's some supernatural thing or I'm the Antichrist or I'm, no, it's it's because it's because I'm autistic, man. I got Asperger's, and I think they changed the name of that to something else, but it's self-diagnosed. But it's quite obvious that I am, to me. Um, poor dude, I mean really poor. After I pay my storage fee, I live below poverty, so I've really thought about. It. Well, there's reasons why I don't do shit, and I think you're kind of gathering why. And you can think I'm completely insane if you want to, and then if you think that and disbelieve anything I'm saying, then you're going to be one dead motherfucker one day. I hope it never happens to you what's happened to me. hope it never does. hope it never fucking does. But it's one of the things it does, and that's why I'm having a few moments to where I can think now. One thing it does pretty consistently is fuck your head up. Fuck up how you think. It fucks up your intellect. It makes you stupid. Incredibly so. That's one of the side effects, or the effects of... And any other effects, like the high blood pressure, I don't know if that's a consistent thing. I know it can be anything, because anything can be put in it. Anything that evaporates. Brat poison, thallium. That shit's outlawed in the U.S., but not in other places. Anything. I shit you not. So, it's like Mary Lou Henner. She has that photographic memory. Remembers fucking everything in her life. She's got a it's a genetic thing. She inherited that. It's genetics. Asperger's is genetics. It's nothing weird. It's nothing out of the ordinary. You know? I know a lot of stuff because I got Asperger's and I've read a lot in my life. Hell, I've forgotten more than I've ever remembered. 
and I get better even after I don't play guitar for a while because I'm like that. I don't know why I'm like that. And you notice it's not fucking Bach or Beethoven. It's my own shit, just a little different, a little better. And uh, shout out to if you ever see this, probably not, but I've never really taken lessons except like once in my life. And it was because I wanted to break out of my kind of, I felt like I was in a circle. And Craig Sternberg, I still got those yoga hands, dude. If you ever see this, you probably won't. But if you do, I still got the yoga hands. <laughs> I just used them all ago. First time in years. Because I've been preoccupied with saving my fucking life on a pretty consistent basis. Even Okay, that's enough of that, right? Yeah. Uh, it was even on my fucking hat. It's still some down inside there. I can't get all of it out of the green shit. And just, if you look at the videos, I think the green is a cover-up. I think that's a neutralizer. I'm just guessing. I don't know, man. I'm not a fucking chemist or a scientist. I don't know shit about that stuff. But I know it was happening before I had these artifacts, before I had this fancy guitar. I had this one, but it wasn't rebuilt like it is now. I didn't have that one. You can't see it in the image. And I had these. These really aren't worth a whole lot. Neither one of these are. That Epiphone's okay. It's not worth a lot, though. These three, I don't know. This was my own creation. If I was ever to become a famous rock star, which is not happening today, not with living like this, it's not going to happen. Not like this, man. You know why I'm alive? I don't have any certain religion I adhere to. I adhere, you know what I adhere to? I adhere in, in honor, goodness. It's like Ted Nugent. I was listening to him. I just uh, followed him the other day, or actually yesterday. I pretty much agree with about everything he says except two things. One thing is wolves, and the other thing I'm not going to mention. <laughs> because I think people have different concepts in their heads about certain things, and some of those concepts go back to a few hundred years, maybe even a thousand years ago, which things are, you know, changed. And what I'm saying now, if I'd have told myself this shit, yeah, I'm not playing much guitar, I know. I need to check and see if they're still in tune here in a minute. No. It's out a little bit. Oh, yeah. Totally had to tune already. Let's stretch these babies a little bit. See, when you get new strings, I don't know if you people know. I mean, a lot of you do, but a lot of people don't. A lot of people really don't. But I'm sure a lot of people that play guitar on a regular basis know that if you do this, what I'm doing, I'm just I'm stretching. I'm just stretching the string. Yeah, helping it, helping it season in, I guess you'd say, for a little bit. Yeah, because if I waited and I got hit with that shit again, I'd, I'd be worse than a gibbering idiot right now. I wouldn't. I'm probably not making any sense now, but at least I'm making better sense than I would if I was, you know, being hammered by it. Being kept awake by it, that's one thing. It happens a lot, but I don't think it happens every time. It's like I said, anything can be put in it. Um, it can be on anything. And yeah, see, it just sounds, I know what it sounds like. If I had told myself this shit 20 years ago, I wouldn't have believed it. If I had talked to somebody or myself or anybody 15 years ago, I'd be like, mm hmm, because that's about the time. Well, anyway, 10 years ago, definitely. I definitely would have listened, understood. Between uh, 10 years ago and now, oh, absolutely, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. 15 years ago, I'd be like, because even then it was like, because you don't expect people to do that kind of shit to you. And, you know, if it was back in the 80s, I wouldn't expect it to, to be here after I left a state up north. I thought they just wanted my land, and they did. Them and the people across the street that killed my New Guinea singing dogs that they let out because those little fuckers couldn't bend a rebar and shit. I had a little cupboard in the creek going through where I had the wolf and the wolf dogs and, and the New Guinea singing dog and dogs. I had one flown in from uh, Oregon, and I don't think those people knew it, but... At that time, and maybe still today, I haven't looked it up. I'm kind of sad about the dog thing, but they're the rarest breed of dog on the planet. They're a smaller breed. Most people don't know what they are. Well, they're, you know what a dingo is from Australia, right? Well, they're in that lineage of canines that come from Southeast Asia through the islands, you know, Sumatra, Java, Borneo, New Guinea, to Australia. And uh, the New Guinea uh, singing dogs are about half the size of a dingo. And, you know, most dingoes are hybridized now. There's not a, not a whole lot of pure ones left. Last I checked, but I don't keep up on that shit no more. I just don't. Uh, but, yeah. They shot him. I'm thinking, well, what was it doing, attacking you? New Guinea singing dog. It's about the size of a fucking beagle. <laughs> They're totally... Yeah, they, I don't know, man. People. He, see, I want to say, if I start saying humans and, and speak like I really do and just 
You go out and you really feel and have no expression, you'll think there's something wrong with you. Well, it's called Asperger's. I've been putting on a fucking show my whole life. I should be in Hollywood just for that show alone, just acting like the rest of you fuckers. But I'm not like the rest of you fuckers. Some, but most of you know I'm not. And I didn't do that. God did that. Whatever. I don't know. Yes, I think about this. I've got a couple of other silver ones in there that were hanging on my fleur de lis, that big iron fleur de lis. And uh, I got, I have this one pick that was in a box. The rest of the picks are brass picks and a couple picks I made from like 1960 quarters. They're silver, pure silver, because back then it's still pure. It wasn't mixed with copper yet. And I got them soaking out there along with the other plastic picks and the, and the metal picks and the steel picks and uh, titanium pick. I got a gold pick, maybe a two couple gold picks. Anyway, they're all soaking out there and solution of uh, vinegar and salt and uh, I'd put them out on the porch. I'm gonna soak them in, I'm gonna clean them. But I'm gonna take them out and rinse them off and not breathe the vapors from that shit. But um, I don't know, I'm kind of rambling, but I kinda, I'm kind of not, kind of not rambling. I do love this guitar, this guitar kicks ass. Um, so does that guitar, so does that guitar, not these. These don't kick ass at all. These have their asses kicked. <laughs> Uh, oh, you know what? I was thinking this is off the beaten path here, but I was thinking I don't like I don't like dishonesty. I, uh, I've lied a couple times in my life, and it hurts me to do so. It just really pains me. It still bothers me. And when I say a couple, I mean like on my handful, unless I can even remember ever lying, unless I was drinking or something and was going to do something. Told somebody I beat my beater and forgot. That's you know that's inadvertently lying, but um, that's when I was young. And, and I'll tell you why that. I was like that for a while. One was a bad divorce. I won't go into that. Another one, but I did stay and pay for my kids so they wouldn't grow up starving like me. Oh, there's something else, starving. How many of you motherfuckers grew up starving in your life? Could be some of the reason I've survived without survived because I've done things to survive that others wouldn't have in similar situations. Fuck, most people wouldn't even fucking believe it. I didn't for a while. But, uh, yeah, kids throwing their food away and if I couldn't get some off my friend. My mom wouldn't let me have free lunches. She wouldn't get food stamps. Didn't see her most of the time. Wouldn't see her for once or twice a month, if that. Never knew where she worked, had no idea. Don't know, still don't know, to this day. I had one friend come over once, was gonna stay the night, and she scared the fuck out of me. She got us out of bed and made us right outside at night, said there was something on the roof. Cause there were bears and mountain lions, I think, still in that area at that time, but I don't know, whatever it was, scared the fuck out of him, and he never came back. And me and that kid got malaria, and we fucking got malaria there in Florida. How many people you know ever had malaria here in the States? Well, here's one right here, baby. Yeah, I had malaria. Uh, many anyway, I'm, I'm kind of rambling. The reason I'm doing this, I already told well, I done told you the reason I'm doing it, because I don't know how much time I have left. And uh, nobody really knows shit about me. And if my kids ever did see it, because, yeah, up there I, I've been addled. But uh, well, anyway, uh, first time I got arrested. Oh, Martin, hi, are you still alive, dude? But owns those two trailer parks in Columbus, Indiana? Yeah. I had a criminal trespass on my record, and it still pisses me off because I didn't do a fucking thing wrong. I was welcoming my girlfriend, Kenna Hatchet, home. She didn't want me to come by her parents' house for reasons. I won't relate right here. And uh, there was a pool there, and I parked in the pool parking lot, which a lot of people do, you know? They park there. Just friends come over, they park out in the pool parking lot there. This is the trailer park in town. There's, they also had one outside of town. Um, the highs, I guess. I don't know. Candlelight, I think the one that the name is in town. Probably still is. It's probably still there. I don't know. I've been there for a while. But uh, he arrested me. Uh, make a long story short, yeah, he tried to manhandle me. He found out that didn't work. He's a lot bigger than me, and I was small and starved all my life. But I grabbed that fence and I wasn't moving. I said, "You walk me like a man in that shop." If you remember this, if you're a liable fucker, you look here and you know what's up. You did me wrong. You did me big fucking wrong. I've never forgotten it. First time I got arrested, I spent my 21st birthday in jail. Because I wouldn't rat out the guy that did jump in the pool, James Gassaway. Sorry, dude. Didn't rat you out then, but I am now because, you know, I'm going through some life and death shit. People need to know. And that shouldn't be on my record. I didn't rat you out then. And they put me in jail, and I called the dad. I just met my dad. He wouldn't bail me out. Cussed me out, called me names. He's drunk. Called me names. I just met him like that year, I think the first time ever in my life after roaming around homeless for a while in the eastern part of the states really homeless really hungry really starving but I was used to it, it was all my childhood was pretty much like that you know um, they left me in there hung up on me that was my only phone call by the way 
So after that, I, you know, I don't like injustice. I can't stand dishonesty and injustice. And he gave me an attitude. <laughs> and I said, if you motherfuckers are going to arrest me for nothing, I'll give you fucking something to arrest me for. And then it became a, a battle that I lost. <laughs> Although I did get a DUI once for having one beer. That still pisses me off, too. But it was, you know, yeah, it gave me an attitude, man. I didn't deal with it well. And then I went, no, I completely lost. <laughs> That's just how I'm made, man. I don't like, I don't like unfairness. I, I can't stand unfairness. <laughs> That's different. I usually don't play it like this. Really have, the reason I have a lot of distortion is not because I don't want to hear the notes. It's because I want to sound like I got big sound, but I don't have big sound because I can't get loud here. I want to sound cool like, so you can just sound like one chord. Here. See, I like that. I like that. I don't like those off, those off chords. Like, you hear me do that sometimes? I think that sounds cool. It sounds evil, but I'm not evil. But it sounds cool and badass. It's like the other ones. You wonder where I get some of this shit from? Because I'm probably going to get, you know, I don't know how long I'm going to be here. I really don't. Because, um, you know, if the law can't help you, and if our law is corrupt or fucked, then, then I'm fucked. What else is new? Story of my life. When I do this shit, I get that from old Ted. I saw him once when I was 15, I think. Me and some other kids, I did odd jobs, anything I, I could to get money, because I was always starving, and when I got a little older, I could try to get money to eat and stuff, you know? <sighs> but not till I was like 15, 16. But even then, it's hard to get a job, and I was scrawny, because I'd starved all my life, you know? <laughs> One time, my grandparents moved down to Florida. Uh, a couple times I ate in my, in my childhood. It was once, uh, I think I was like 14, they moved down there. And uh, for one year, I went from looking like a Pakistan refugee kid to a fucking normal American kid. One year, then my mom went off to Florida and moved right downtown, right downtown in the fucking middle of fucking big city, right down from the abandoned buildings, man, motherfuckers. Ah, some shit. Dead motherfuckers laying outside the apartment house thing there. Blood banks right down the road. I should've get blood. I didn't ask yeah, too much. Yeah, motherfuckers dead, laying needles in their arm and shit and abandoned buildings. Downtown, fucking downtown, yeah. So, I went from scrounging around the woods to scrounging around the fucking city. Yeah. You know, you can find a lot of shit. Well, back then, not today, in Dipsy Green Dumpsters, like a big block of Velveeta cheese, a story I had to throw out because it got too fucking old. How many of you motherfuckers live like that? Like I said earlier, you, know, you ever stand in line begging kids for their food, they're throwing their food, like, can I have that, can I have that? How's that make, how do you think that made me feel as a kid? Yeah, not good. But then to go through shit like this, when I have enough to survive still, you know, I'm still not that fucking bad off. Most of you motherfuckers would be dead if you were subjected to the things I have been the past many years. It's no shit, you'd be dead. You'd all be fucking dead. Not all of you, maybe. I'd say 99 fucking percent of you would be dead. No doubt. No doubt in my mind. At all. <laughs> Yeah, first time I get arrested. <coughs> I turned 21 in jail. It wasn't even my fault. What a shitter. You know, I think I'm just about down here. Uh, I think you got the idea of what I'm trying to get across. I'm going to have to clean that guitar. There was some... No, I'm not gonna, it doesn't matter. Just listen to what I said. Take from it. Look at the videos before this one. Try to piece it together in your head. Um... Stay safe, stay alive. It's like I said, I don't adhere to any certain religion, but it don't matter what name you call it. Uh, Buddha was just a dude, you know, just a man. Jesus Christ was a little different. He was a man, but, you know, quite special, not the same. I wonder, though, years ago, you know, when I, 
when I first started doing computers, like between 90s, when I built the browser originally. You know why I built that browser? Because I had a roommate and he started going to school when I, I was there working at that time at that foundry. And that's how he got to go to school living with me because sometimes he wasn't working. Of course, things changed when I was unemployed and he was in charge, things changed. And I don't like anybody that's a, uh, he's, he, he might see this, that's fine. That's why I left, dude, because you were being like an authoritarian. Telling me how things were going to be that since you were paying. Yeah, fuck that. I, I left. I don't like to be dominated. I will not be dominated. And I will, if I get killed off, it's not because I didn't try to survive. Or not because I didn't finally tell somebody about it. Because, you know, I've been through a lot of shit up there. I thought it was just they wanted my land. Poisoning me and my animals. Fucking with my brakes. And then getting me between vehicles on the way to work. Trying to run me off the road on snowy roads in the middle of fucking winter after fucking with my brakes. Fucking with my roof, jacking the fucking place up to it's about to fucking tilt over, take the fucking tie down straps off the trailer. See, I've been through some shit, man. That's just when I had my own place. I have my own place, my own piece of land, 10 and a half acres bought and paid for, man. Ran my own electric, uh, electricity, met the company halfway, did the rest of myself, put on my own box in. I tried to catch me on fire, that's another one. Holes in shit you wouldn't fucking believe. And I thought once I was gone, none of that shit's gonna, it should be done. Well, I was wrong. Computer was hacked here, you know, plus the poison. Yeah, let's just say what it is poisoning. They can be on shit, and you can see it if you can. It's, if you get down, my eyes aren't that good. A lot of times I miss it, but you can see it like a kind of a glistening kind of a bullshit, kind of like a hardened gel. I don't know. That's why it lasts better in cold weather. You better listen to what I'm fucking saying. This ain't no fucking joke. This isn't insanity. It can make you insane, depending on what's in it and how, how long it keeps you awake. Yeah. Like I said, this will probably get blocked. So if you can download it, you fucking better download it and pass it around. I don't care, give a fuck how you think it sounds. It might save somebody's fucking life. And I've taken a big risk putting this shit. I've never done this before. I've never put anything on here. I've always kept quiet about it. You know, that, that time's over because it's just, it's not working. <laughs> no, it's not working at all. So, um, well, yeah, the flood, go back to the flood. I'm rambling, I know. Going back to the flood, the flood came right to my fucking front door and stopped right there. Like I said, I should have just stayed here. But I didn't. Isn't that amazing? The flood stopped right at my front door. Anyway, what I was going to say was when I first started doing computer see, I, I'm going back. I'm getting better. Um, I, can, I know probably why the government hacked me. You know, the, the army, I guess, or whoever. Because I, I had black eyes, which is uh, today it's like McAfee or some shit. I don't know. But back then it was called Black Eyes, and it would show you a geographical tracer route on where somebody was that was hitting your computer, trying to search your, trying to scan your computer, and checking your shit, or coming into your computer. You know, it would tell you. And I, I seen a lot of military hits from uh, places out east where, you know, probably Langley, places like that. I don't know. I don't remember. It's been a long, over 20 years ago. Up on the lakes, now in the water, over by England, the UK. I've seen some offshore. And, anyway. But also, you know who else hacked me? Well, not unless I tell you, obviously. The Vatican. Vatican City. Why would the fucking Vatican hack me? What's up with that shit? Why would the Vatican hack me? I still don't know. If somebody hacking me now, I can check and I can look. I got nothing like I used to. I casually observe. I'm not going to stop them. I don't give a fuck. That's above my pay grade. Fucking McDonald's employee is probably above my pay grade. <laughs> no offense to you. Uh, well, I shouldn't say no offense. Facts it hasn't. As they are facts. This shouldn't even say that. I guess if you don't mean it, then you shouldn't, shouldn't say anything that could possibly be offensive. I'm just saying that people that work at McDonald's probably make more money than I do to survive. I don't know how much they make. I don't know what minimum wage he takes. I know a manager definitely makes more than I make. But that's neither here nor there. Um, yeah, why would the Vatican hack me? Well, anyway, uh, I should probably, shit was happening before I owned these artifacts here. Like, I think I've done enough. I think you know that it was happening up north too. And like I said, back in the 80s, I wouldn't have thought nothing about it. But with today's internet connectivity, everybody's a phone touch away, or a, a phone touch, yeah, I guess that's correct. A phone touch or a, a dial away, yeah, it's not so inconceivable today. And since I'm right down here, pretty close to the border, yeah. So. I don't know what the answer is, man. All I know is Americans are being attacked from within. A lot of people that have died from various things, a lot of them look like aneurysms or heart, heart attacks. You know, one time I, I bled. I, was, I, rem I remember standing up there. 
and looking in, my, in the mirror in the kitchen. And they kept jerking me. Not a, I'm not a stuff you wouldn't fucking believe. This is one of them, but it doesn't matter. Facts are facts. And uh, my blood, uh, seeing blood. And a few days before, this dude, I'm not going to mention his name, was sitting there on the couch, and blood started dripping out on my nose, and he started smiling, kind of laughing. I'm thinking, what's he laughing at? I'm, he started laughing, basically. <laughs> blood dripping out on my nose. Which, you know, some dudes are like that. Yeah, I, I know. I could be like, I wouldn't laugh at somebody. He'd be like, what's, what's wrong with you? I wouldn't laugh. But he was laughing. It gave him some kind of joy. And uh, I remember a few days later looking in the mirror in the bathroom. Blood was coming out like here. Blood was coming out in spots on me here. Little rivulets of blood and shit. I wrote a song about that. When I first moved in here, before I had the artifacts and this fancy guitar, they stole my songs. And one of those songs was Three Days Dead Covered in Blood. I don't know if I was or not, but when I woke up from that, I mean, blood was coming out of my dick, out of my ass, out of my eyes, coming out of my nose. Let's just say all of my orifices, yeah. And my skin, like little spots. It just started leaking, and I thought, I'm gonna die in these motherfucking backwoods and nobody's even gonna know. And then I fell on the floor. And then I know it was three days because I got on the computer, I had like a, I think I had HughesNet at that time, it was kind of a crappy connection, but you know, you live out in the woods, you have a slower connection, you get a lot of anything. The storm could fuck up your connection, you know. A little CME, you know, coronal mass ejection from the sun, just a little bit, you know, the northern lights, what causes uh, solar flares and, and CMEs. Causes more, more than lights and shit. That's a magnetic field being disrupted slightly. Yeah, that would fuck my connection up. So, I don't know. I haven't played much guitar, I know that. Make, next time I'll do it again. I'll do another one and I'll, I'll do a little more. I'll just do the guitar. But right now I've got, I've got other shit on my mind and, and things I've related on here. Anyway, I woke up three days later. Oh, and the reason I say three days dead, because maybe I wasn't. It killed some, enough cells in me, though, because I smell like a dead fucking body for, like, uh, at least a week. You ever smell a dead, rotted deer in the ditch? <laughs> smell like that. You know? Huh. Oh, a lot more. Fucking lots more, man. Lots more. You think that's all? No. But has it happened all my life? No. Did it happen before I had the fancy shit here? Yeah. Did it happen before I got down here? Yeah, did it happen before I lived out there in the woods? No. Any other part part of my life? No. Just mainly the last 10, maybe 15 years. 10 years hard, 15 years, maybe 20 years, because I, I, you just don't suspect, you don't expect, and the average person doesn't think anything like that's gonna happen. That's why a lot of you, most Americans are fucking vulnerable. Fucking most people watch the news, it's all a bunch of lies, think it's real. So yeah, there's a, there's a vulnerable population. All of America, every fucking body. I'll see you there, man. I like that, but listen to this. cure yourselves. Pray? Yeah, I had this woman tell me, you should pray. And I told her I don't. To see, when I say things, I, I don't think, I'm thinking from inside my head because I'm alone so much. And I told you why I stay alone now. So nobody else is in danger. Do you think it's a joke? It ain't no fucking joke. It's not even a fucking joke. But uh, I do, I, I, I pray a lot. But I pray for other fucking people, not for me. I had just recently, yeah, I have just recently, and I'm going to clean those other couple of crosses, but not, not right now. I'm cleaning my metal guitar picks along with the other ones like this, the one, all, all, my guitar picks, and my other necklace. It's uh, sterling silver with the, if you've ever seen any of my earlier videos, it was that one that was more visible. You couldn't really see the crosses because they would turn color. I don't know if that's a natural patina or the other shit, because if it doesn't turn green, the greens, like I said, I think that's a neutralizer, and the black, that's what happens to metal that... Uh, well, anyway, look at the earlier videos. Stay safe.